Hola, hola, Claudine and I'm here. Dolls, we have so much drama to discuss. MGA CEO Isaac Larian has declared war on Mattel. Not only has MGA shared publicly the transcripts for emails that Mattel sent to MGA, but Isaac announced they will be suing Mattel after Barbie's newest reveal. Today, we'll be discussing the wild feud between Mattel and MGA, as well as how this may affect the upcoming launch of Bratz and Monster High. But first, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and hit subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Now, let's dive in. For context, this year is going to be one of the biggest for doll collectors. Not only are new lines being released, like Cardi B's controversial line of dolls Real Women Are and Glow Up Girls, which will actually be made into a reality show, there's been many leaks for LOL Surprise's new line of dolls LOL BTW, created as the in-between of LOL OMG and LOL Surprise Tots, which will consist of four characters, Cherry BB, Fancy Girl, Freshest, and Hoops Cutie. The older sisters to Dusk and Dawn, Moonlight BB, and Sunshine Girl, with lots more to be announced. If you're a Barbie fan, the new Barbie Extra Series 2 dolls and Barbie's new collector dolls, there's also going to be a reboot of older doll lines, like the comeback for Brat, which will include the original core for Bratz, Tokyo Go Go Kumi, Bratz Rock Angels, a line of designer collector dolls, which may have been leaked via at Raj's Designs on Instagram, a graphics artist who works with MGA shared an image on his Instagram story for Tweevil's Casey, Yasmin, Chloe, Jade, and more notably Felicia and what looks like Dylan in never before seen outfits. At Mar the Bratz, who works for Bratz, shared on Twitter what appears to be foil packaging of the Bratz icons for Jade, Chloe, and Sasha, with much more to be revealed soon. And if you watched my last video, you know the highly anticipated comeback for Monster High, which will feature high end collector replicas of the original Monster High dolls more horror-themed dolls in addition to a whole new lineup of Playline dolls for 2022. But will these upcoming launches be affected by the drama between Mattel and MGA Entertainment? Let's discuss. As many of you know, LOL Surprise's anthem is extra like OMG. The LOL Surprise OMG line of dolls is known for using words like extra, diva, slay, rebel, modern slang that, while not exclusive to LOL Surprise, certainly isn't on brand for other doll lines and has become a campy staple for the fashion-forward fashion dolls. Following this, Mattel released a line of dolls named Barbie Extra, which leaked around September 22 and became known as Barbie's response to LOL Surprise OMG. MGA Entertainment filed a trademark for the name Barbara under the category of dolls in November 2020. And for context, Barbara is the full name for Barbie, aka Barbara Millicent Roberts. Mattel was not happy about this. We'll go into detail of what Mattel had to say later in this video. So Mattel seems to have responded by trademarking the names Diva Tot, Rebel Tot, and Unicorn Tot, which may be created to compete with LOL Surprise Hotline, with characters literally named Diva, Rebel, and Unicorn. So of course, MGA responded with the biggest clapback by trademarking Riley, Sophia, Eva, and wait for it. Aria. If you don't understand why trademarking Aria is such a big deal, it's because Aria is the name of MGA's newest doll line, Aria, which will be made as competition to Barbie. Aria's line of dolls is rumored to have a line of career-themed dolls, similar to Barbie, and a line of color reveal dolls, which is obviously similar to Barbie color reveal, which will be priced around a similar price point. Additionally, MGA trademarked the phrases, be who you Aria, and Aria extra extra. This isn't the first time MGA and Mattel played cat and mouse. MGA created Bratz, the global phenomenon of fashion dolls, which is really Barbie's only real competition ever, aside from maybe Gem. As a response to Bratz, Mattel created MyScene. The companies went to war for decades over MyScene versus Bratz, and long story short, Bratz won in the end. Following that, Mattel released Monster High, and as a response, MGA released Bratzillas. Monster High released Create a Monster, Bratzillas released Switch a Witch. Consider the two companies divorced parents parents that are constantly competing with one another. Well, these divorcees haven't finished their time in court because as I stated, Isaac Larian has declared he is going to sue Mattel. Whether or not this will truly happen is unclear, but I'll break down all the email leaks and the shade Isaac threw at Mattel's employees. On May 6th, Barbie announced her legendary dream house is getting a major makeover, which they call Barbie Dreamhouse Remix. Hey, hey, and welcome to the Dreamhouse Remix. 
and Isaac Larian has had it. In case you didn't know, last year, LOL Surprise launched a collection called LOL Surprise Remix. This was a major collection for LOL Surprise with over 40 different dolls included in the collection, an entire album of music with several different music videos, an airplane playset, and countless releases of licensed merchandise. It goes without saying the budget for LOL Surprise Remix was high. Barbie naming the content surrounding the new Dreamhouse Barbie Remix is likely to capitalize on the word for search engines. Here's what Isaac had to say on LinkedIn. Under a post on LinkedIn about Barbie, Isaac commented, stop knocking off hashtag MGA and be original. Don't you have any pride and self-respect? We are coming after you, a legal lawsuit. Preserve your evidence. Oof. Those are fighting words, and it didn't end there. Isaac continued and posted, At Mattel, we have offered you an olive branch and asked you nicely not to knock off our innovations and stop stealing our trade secrets. But it seems that nothing has changed in the culture of the evil empire. The only language you understand is legal lawsuit and force, so you give us no choice but to sue you. We will. Hashtag thieves. Wow, it's like doll World War II. And this is only the beginning. On MGA's actual website, transcripts for emails sent between MGA and Mattel were leaked. Isaac posted, you guys are shameless. LOL OMG Remix and now Barbie Dreamhouse Remix clearly and blatantly done to confuse consumers and palm off. Make sure you save and not destroy documents. We are coming after you and Mattel for sure this time. You give us no choice. Attached in the email is a photo comparison comparison of Barbie's Dreamhouse Remix with LOL Surprise Remix campaign photo. Followed up are emails sent between MGA and Mattel April 7th of 2021 and April 9th of 2021. This is the first time we're seeing Mattel's side of anything. The transcript reads, Dear blank, as I mentioned on our call today, I was surprised and disappointed to recently learn that MGA filed a US trademark application for Barbara in class 28 for doll clothing, dolls, and accessories therefore. As you know, and as is widely known around the world, Barbie is short for Barbara. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Barbie is named after creator Ruth Handler's own daughter, Barbara. Therefore, the unauthorized use of Barbara in connection with dolls and related goods is likely to cause confusion with Mattel's famous Barbie trademark and to misappropriate, dilute, and diminish the goodwill associated with that iconic Mattel brand. Accordingly, I'm writing to request that MG expressly abandon the application for Barbara and agree not to use the Barbara trademark. Please let me have your response to this request as soon as possible. Otherwise, Mattel will oppose MGA's application for Barbara if it publishes and is prepared to seek other relief should MGA proceed to use the trademark. Compounding the concern about MGA's trademark application, information has come to light on social media that suggests MGA is planning on using trade dress and font styles that are confusingly similar to Barbie's trade dress. As the attached materials reflect, postings have speculated that MGA's Aria line of dolls be more Barbie-ish looking than other dolls. I am hopeful that such online speculation is just that, pure speculation as opposed to fact, and that MGA indeed has no such plans. I would very much appreciate your assurance in this regard. I look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, nothing herein should be constructed as a waiver of any Mattel's rights or remedies, all of which we expressly reserve. Very truly yours, Michael Moore. So what are these social media posts they're referring to? Well, I wish I could take credit and say they were mine. They are not. They indeed belong to at dollboy.29 as this image is posted on MGA's website. My oh my. So to clarify, Mattel wanted MGA to drop the trademark for the name Barbara and Isaac responded by saying, Enon, when we met at, we came to an agreement that any issues between our two companies will be addressed by the two CEOs first. We shook hand on that. In fact, I brought the Mattel blatant knockoff of OMG's Surprise Extra, example Barbie Extra, and Barbie Color Reveal with seven surprises, example LOL surprise color change, to your attention directly. You dismiss that by doing a cut and paste email response. It's very disappointing that you now hide behind a lowlife so-called lawyer who was found by a federal judge to have perjured himself under oath instead of calling me. You have all my numbers. The fact that this perjurer is still employed by Mattel is also telling. Let me assure you and Jonathan and your board that Mattel's typical baseless BS nonsense doesn't scare me in MGA. It seems old dogs are hard to teach. Our lawyers will respond to this nonsense email from Moore in due course. In the meantime, you as a CEO of Mattel are on notice and make sure that Mattel puts a litigation hold on any and all correspondence of any shape 
shape and form that in any way refers to MGA, any of its IP and products. No more funny business like last time by hiding 36 cartons of evidence in another law firm or creating stupid spy movie files. Jonathan, these are letters after MGA that are equally perjurer as more predecessor created to hide evidence from MGA. Please. This time around, we are very ready for Mattel and its bullying and funny business tactics and practices. I'm sure the court and jury would love to listen to previous testimony and be amused. All of our rights are reserved. Best regards, Isaac Larian. So how could this affect the upcoming launch of Bratz and Monster High? Well, fans have expressed concern that if MGA begins to focus on a lawsuit against Mattel, they'll lose focus on evolving and developing products. And if they successfully sue Mattel, that this could deplete Mattel's finances that could potentially be funneled into Monster High's reboot. To clarify a few things, I'm not a lawyer. I don't necessarily understand the legality of these things and how they work. So I'd have to research more if fans who theorize this are indeed correct. But as far as my knowledge, Right now, the legal battle is between Barbie, LOL Surprise, and Aria. Therefore, the only brands that would really be affected are the ones being involved. It would be unfortunate if LOL Surprise shifts in any way than their current formula as a product of the potential legal feud because in my opinion, LOL Surprise is one of the best doll lines to ever exist to date and I think their current structure is flawless. To see that change as a product of lawsuits would be heartbreaking. Let me know below, do you think this could affect upcoming doll launches? Do you think it's fair either of these companies sue one another? Let's discuss. If you enjoyed today's video, you'll love all my other videos discussing doll tea, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Thanks for watching. See ya!